The Crimson House, located in the heart of downtown Pottsville, is a relaxing, laid-back atmosphere. Originally, this restaurant here was the office. The previous owners opened it up as the Crimson House, and it was started off as a tapas-inspired restaurant. In 2018, John and Marine Challenger purchased the restaurant, and then in 2019, they started to do renovations, and they moved over to expand. I got the joy of tearing down some of the walls. It was amazing to see, you know, what we have, this great architecture. Just to see the brick. People's favorite part about being over here is Dave Nadal. His wife has been gracious to us in allowing us to feature his work. Um, he painted a lot of murals in this town. We use this area for overflow, like if the restaurant is full and people have parties over here, big groups. We have entertainment here every Friday and Saturday night. They love it. They just come to dance and be with their friends and have a good time. We have many features every night. Everything is seasonal, so everything is fresh. People want to know where their food comes from. We source locally. So we use a local butcher shop, Summerhill Meats. I don't have a true walk-in freezer. The meats are fresh. It's going to be two or three days old of the produce. It keeps you honest. They have a different experience every time they come. For evenings, we sell a lot of steak. Entrees. I like doing prime steak. We've done a, a 28 ounce porterhouse steak. We do the prime filet mignons. Delmonico, this is where we get it from the butcher shop. Man after my heart with this Delmonico right there. I love steaks. Most of the time I leave the bone in for steaks. The bone gives it flavor. My background was in Pittsburgh at the smokehouse. I like doing like like smoked quarter chicken. Our chef occasionally likes to make homemade pasta. We got done tortellini by hand here. Guinis, fettuccinis, parpa delps. Right now on our menu, I believe we have close to 20 appetizers. Quesadillas, our surfer turf nachos. We always have tacos on the menu. We do have bigger portions for those who want them. But most people do prefer the smaller portions. Yeah. We have a late night menu and we recently started to do breakfast. We have lots of featured drinks. We are known very well for our bar. Making drinks is always fun. It's always a good environment here. I'm going to make a caramel apple martini. It's gonna be a fall drink. We're gonna start with vodka. Then we got butterscotch and then some apple. We're doing some caramel drizzle. Presentation is everything. I think it's a good fall drink. And then we garnish it with our apple. It's nice coming up with new drinks. It's exciting when people come in and they see the post and they're asking for it specifically. We also have a sports bar that's open seven days a week. On Fridays, we have Flight Friday. We're happy to be in the same town as Yingling because they do help us a lot. And we have tons of their decor featured here. We also have several helmets from different high schools. The history of the Maroons. We have a pool table. Upstairs, we have a game room. We have a whiskey lounge and we have another room upstairs for parties as well. All of the artwork that we have featured up here is for sale. I'm Lori Cassidy, she's a teacher at Nativity. Um, she sells her artwork here. I like doing things from scratch. My one executive chef, he was incredible. I mean, he could stretch out pasta to the end of that table. Can you make sure that pasta water's hot, please? Yes. Like boiling, can you just grab it? And that's all it is, and then you have, your, you have your fresh pasta. And I usually hit it with a little bit of semolina, get it dusted so it doesn't stick together. Yep, perfect. perfect. And just catch it. Gotta work on my catch. Homemade pasta. It's a game changer, it really is. I like French onions. I went to a French culinary school, so I do the classic French wet. It's usually fall, winter, it's hearty. So we do this from scratch. We do cut about 22 quarts of yellow onions, and you want to uh, julienne them. We get our bread from the Minersville Bakery. We like to support local yeah. businesses. Love that. I do Gruyere, which is like a, a step up, and then the provolone goes on top of that. And that's your French onion. Shouts. Garlic. So this is the sauce we did from scratch. You don't want to put it all at once. Kind of put it in a little bit at a time. Right into there. You want to actually plate your dish. You garnish something. It has to like be edible. You don't put something on there just because it looks pretty. So this is actually sunflower seeds. I'm a steak guy. You can see me smiling. I don't care about the flame. A little char on a steak gives it flavor. And now I just let it rest. We try to change the menu, you know, within a week of when the seasons change. And it keeps the menu fresh. It keeps the staff engaged because they're not making the same thing. And you keep learning. The owners are here all of the time. Um, he walks around, talks to the customers, and we, we try to interact with people as much as we can and take their feedback. This is Schuylkill County. We're known for certain things, hardworking people. We need to try to preserve things that came from our past. I do like it here. You can see the area growing. I like going to different restaurants in the area, like meeting the other chefs. We all share the same vision. We all want everyone to support each other with small businesses. We all support each other. Um, when there's a big event going on downtown, we all get together and do our part. Several years ago, it was considered a dead area. And now things are trying to come back and people are trying to visit more and get out and they don't want to go as far. So it's nice to just be in your own backyard. If you want to go out for a drink or a good meal, you don't have to travel far. Everything's here. I look forward to seeing you in 2022 for an eye exam here at Pottsville Eye Specialists.